Hello everyone, it's your casual gamer Meep here and welcome back to the Eyes on the Shrine series where we go over the perks found on the Shrine Secrets every week and show them off with various gameplay. This week for survivors we start with Ace in the Hole from as you guessed it, Ace. Upon searching a chest, Ace in the Hole guarantees that item will always have at least one add-on up to a very rare rarity and it'll give you a 50% chance to pull a second add-on on that item of a lower rarity of yellow or below. It also has the unique effect that if you escape with an item and it has add-ons, you get to keep those add-ons instead of losing them like you would normally. While this perk can be fun to use and has a decent amount of synergy with the other plundering perks, you're putting a lot of your faith into a perk that is purely luck-based. The add-ons you get with Ace in the Hole might also just not synergize well with each other, and that's even if you get both add-ons, needless to say, so it does have some drawbacks to it. Next up is a neat teachable perk, Streetwise. You and any of your teammates within 8 meters of your location deplete your items 20% slower than you would normally while you're within range of the person with Streetwise. The effect lasts for up to 15 seconds after leaving the range with Streetwise. This perk's effect is kind of weak, especially when you have the perk built to last which can replenish an item up to 4 different times. Streetwise is just one of those older perks that's simply outclassed. It can be useful in some situations, especially if you pair the two perks together. But yeah, there's really not much to say about the perk other than it just helps save your item charges over time. For killers this week, we start with a Freddy teachable perk, Blood Warden. This perk reveals the aura of survivors within the exegates, and once per trial, when at least one of the exegates are open, hooking a survivor will call upon the entity to block the exegates to the survivors for up to 60 seconds. This perk is a bit of a dice roll to use because survivors nowadays will 99% open the exegates without fully opening them, and if you the killer try to open the exegates yourself, then the survivors are going to know you're running this perk more or less. I will say though, if you get it to work, it can be very satisfying to kill the survivors via the endgame collapse. That's all I can say really about Blood Warden. And the last perk of the week is Territorial Imperative from the Huntress. When you're further than 32 meters away from the basement and a survivor goes to enter it, you see their aura for up to 3 seconds, after which the perk goes on a cooldown for up to 20 seconds. This perk is very situational and relies on you hooking the survivor in the basement in the first place, which means you have to go out of your way to put them there, and hope a survivor doesn't immediately go for the save before you are able to get out of the range for the perk to even activate. It's mainly useful on killers who are able to go to and from the basement really quick, such as the Demogorgon and the Nurse mainly. But as a perk slot in general, it's often a wasteful choice. This week none of the perks are really standouts in the shrine, but ranging from order that you should get them in, in this particular order, you should go from Blood Warden, Ace in the Hole, followed by Streetwise, and lastly Territorial Imperative. How do you guys like this change in the Eyes on the Shrine format? I'm just experimenting with some changes to improve the quality of the series. Also, with the Eyes on the Shrine series, do you like the highly edited video style I've been using for the Shrine series lately? Let me know down below in the comments section. And with that being said, let's hop into the gameplay. Alright, we actually got Macmillan this time. I used um, Mary's Eye Letter for Midwitch, so... I wonder how different it would have been if we had gone. It's another Onryo, so that's probably what they wanted a Midwitch for, for the stealth component to it. It's really nice spawning straight away next to a chest because I'm like, I may be able to search for the chest immediately. Aw, oh, someone plundered my other chest. Darn. That is so unlucky. I see generators up there, but I'm like, I see a chest is up there, so I'm going to go invest this toolbox into the, to the generator upstairs. Then loot that chest. And thanks to Streetwise, I can essentially invest 25% more percent of the charges into the generator instead of actually losing them. Which is a nice little bonus. Alright, and it is gone, so I'm going to go search the next chest. Chest number two, what is in store for me? Flashlight with a range add-on and a filament. Nice. Actually, pretty good add-ons. Surprise, motherfucker! Yep, she's here. Oh my god, can I get make the window real quick? Yes, I can. Wonderful. She broke the window, so she probably has call of Brian. I think she just stri No, she didn't. Ooh, that was close. I almost ran into her. Nope, she's still here looking for me. Oh my god. This is not a place you want to be. There's an angry little Asian lady coming after me. I think I'll get back, get back to the pal before she can get ahead of. Yes. Ooh, nice. She still hears scratch marks, which is a bit unfortunate, although... Wait, is that frequency of mine? She just dropped the item. I think she has Franklin's. Oh my god. Yeah, she saw me. Do you have Franklin's demise just because of the two medkits? Oh my god, that was so close. She didn't swing through the pallet, dang it. I feel like she wouldn't fake it. Wait, did you just swing after them? 
Oh, you do have Franklin's. Oh, that is so unlucky. That's literally the perfect foil to the bill, essentially. Aw. Why you do this to me? I think she just straight up... No, she didn't straight up leave me like I thought she didn't. Oh, I'm probably dead. Let's wait here for just a few seconds to see if she actually left. Okay, I think she did. But yeah, rip that poor flashlight. I'm like, it's dead now. Bruh. <laughs> Quentin, what are you doing? I see you with the bond, so I'm like, you're not surprising me. Here. You take this. Go put into that. Oh yeah, yeah that's right, you have appraisal. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. We can literally trade. Alright, now you go take that and do the generator. But that is so unlucky that she has Franklin's in my side. Like, that is just the perfect perk counter to this particular build. Alright, nice. I really want to use up this toolbox real quick just to make sure it gets out of the way and actually inside a generator. Alright. There's still two more chests in the trial, so let me see if I can get something good out of them. We got that center generator done. We're getting this one done, so we're essentially dividing the map. Although I think there's only one more generator on this half of it. Did you see that? You did. I'm dropping it. Yeah, you're not taking with the items charging this time. You actually chasing me? You are. Hello, Onryo. What is your decision making like? You're a Walter Walter, vaulting the window. We're not in chase, so we can still essentially just keep looping this area. But my fellow Quentin wants to loop it too. Oh my god, he actually spun her. I just want to straight up leave the area, and hopefully he takes her away. Nia, come back here, we can heal each other. Oh wait, actually I could take this med kit, or not med kit, but a toolbox, and put it into that generator. Nope. Say the item. Say the item charges. No. Nope. Oh, she has Pex plaything. Interesting. And if I'm not mistaken, she also has Scourgic Pain Resonance, because I'm pretty sure I heard someone scream just now. <laughs> Thank you, my fellow Quentin. Oh, you were right there. Let's not be right there, then. Ooh, there's a generator nearly done. Yep, that was Screw Trick Pain Resonance. It's confirmed right there. The random's over there working on the generator, which is nice. Okay, sh yeah, she actually teleported inside there, so I'm going to be the one to go for the save. Oh, there's someone's plaything. There you go. She is probably coming right back here. Nope. You're going down to loot my chest after I specifically told the lobby that I was looting chest. SMH. There's someone else's plaything because it's blocked me. So my plaything must be on the other side of the map altogether. Nice. Ooh, Nia managed to find a mech kit down there, and I think the Quentin just pulled one too. Oh, hell no. But someone's plaything did just lose its first 90 seconds, so it's now cleansable. Oh my god, she's so fast. Okay, uh, eat the pallet. Break it, but also get the receipt to it. There's my totem. Okay, thanks god she didn't hear me work on this totem, because I'm pretty sure she could have easily done that. Nice. Let's see... Wait, is this a toolbox that has charges? It does have charges, nice. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Oh, unlucky. We can still win this. Like, everyone might be on death hook now, essentially, but there is still only one generator left. Please go away, Spirit 2.0. I don't wish to be camped. Oh, that is so unlucky. Wait, you're telling me what? No, the other Quinn is the one who saved, not me. Okay, good. She's working upstairs in the coal tower, so hopefully she can get that generator done quickly. This one's all the way back down to reduce to zero, which is very not good. Oh. FML, FML, FML. I'm just gonna pre drop this pallet and try to make distance on her. Okay, she does break it. Nice. Good 
just waste enough of her time for them to get the last generator done? Nah, she she knows what's up. She ain't gonna let me do that. I will go pick up this toolbox to see if I can get out of it then. That one's empty. Dang it. Awesome. That is so good. We managed to get the last gen done. Sometimes you need to just pre-drop and waste pallets in order to force the killer into the breaky animation so they can waste time. Ooh, that was so close. I got a perfect 1250. Nice. For those of you who don't know, 1250 is the max score that you can get before actually opening the exit gates. With our last bit of kindred for my teammate, I'm waving my fellow Quentin over here so we can escape together. It is GG's. And what's also good is we got to keep our item and the item add-on with it thanks to Ace in the Hole, which is really nice. Alright, we get the Coal Tower. This should be interesting. So in addition to running both Blood Warden and Territorial Imperative, I'm also running Barbecue and Chili to help me find survivors during the match after we hook a survivor. And I'm also running Nua to help me get off a Blood Warden play, hopefully. And I'm playing the Nurse because I feel like the Nurse is the, probably the best killer to be able to take advantage of these perks. In terms of being able to actually pull them off, at least. Somebody was here, but they're not anymore. Hello there, Dwight. Nice to see you. You are a double backer, I have to remember that. And a live gamer, question mark? Could have also been overcome. I know he doesn't have Dead Heart as a result of that, which is really good for us. Because literally Dead Heart is one of the worst things for the nurse to deal with. There we go. Nice. Alright, Barbecue and Chili, show us where the survivors are. And they're not even within range. Oh god. Nice try, Claudette. Are you going to farm your teammate? Oh my god, Claudette, don't. Okay, there was two people actually working on that generator. Oh, Claudette, where did you go? Come here, Nia. Nobody does this generator. My facing gets away with it without a possibility of punishment. Ooh. Okay, we just learned from that that Nia has dead hard. She is the one we need to watch out for, really. Nice. I didn't even get to see her, but I'm like, that's still nice that we actually got her. Alright, Barbecue and Chili is showing me someone's over here. I think working on a totem, actually. Which, we need to get them off. Yep, you're working on a totem, and I don't like that. You're trying to take away my one perk. Don't take away my perk. No, it is the one perk that you can disable before it can even activate. I'm like, I will not have to deactivate this particular game. No, ma'am. And they're both going for the save. Hot damn. Get a creeper one special, hopefully. Oh, I probably could have gone for the swing. There we go. Nice little short blink to get it out of the way. Oh, nice. And that's one thing that I like about the nursery work right there is like, I didn't get the stun from the blink and I didn't get the stun from the pallet as well. That way you don't get the double fatigue anymore, which is really nice. Alright, Barbecue and Chili showing me they're working on a generator right there and just wandering around. Whereas the third person is either inside of a locker or they're within a range of 40 meters. Hello, Claudette. Nice to see you. I have to wait for my second blink to recharge. Wonderful. Ooh, nice. This is the thing with the nurse. I'm like, you have to watch out in case she messes up with her blink. Like, right there, that just happened. Like, essentially. What are you... Was that dead hard? Oh, nice. She learned her lesson. And they have a boon. Interesting. Took him long enough to get it up. Nice. And with that hook right there, I know exactly where their boon totem is. Give it a good old snuff out. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't really paying attention for barb barbecue and chili, so... Let's see... Bangman, are you okay? Interesting. Nice. Ooh, you're a whole W gamer. You're just constantly running. Okay. 
If she had kept running this direction, I think I would have gotten her, but she doubled back, which is good for her. Uh, thing. Okay, then. So I'm going to try to avoid killing them as much as possible so I can get an endgame playoff, see if we can make use of other perks. Because right now we're about to have every single person on Death Hook. I think only one person left is not on Death Hook right now. So I'm going to give them a little bit of time to recover and see what happens. And hopefully we get Noed and Blood Warden value. That'd be nice. Also, if someone would like to go in my basement and trigger Territorial Imperative, I would love you very much so. Hello, Nia. Ooh, nice. Gotta re snuff this boon out one more time. I honestly can't remember who's on, not on Death Hook. I think it's the Claudette. So I'm going to try to look for her as best as I can. Nope, not here. I think that's Claudette right there. I predicted it correctly. Ooh, nice. So yeah, once I hook her, everyone should be on Death Hook. Doubling back? Yep. Ooh, I went for it. Wonderful, get that last two generators done. Nice. Oh shit, that actually scared me. I actually forgot the pallet was there. Nice. Yep, everyone is now on death hook now. So all I have to do is wait for the last two generators to be completed. That one's almost done by the hill, and the one in the killer shack's like 50% done. In the meantime, though, I can scare them just a little bit. Although knowing that that thing managed to spend cleansing some totems, I should probably check some totem locations just to make sure I have at least one available for no one escape stuff. Cause yeah, I saw her with barbecue and chili doing that one, and it's gone, gone and never coming back. We don't have pentimento to bring it back, unfortunately. But yeah, we actually do have two totem spawns. This one and the one inside the coal tower. So all I have to do is just wait a little bit longer. Hello there. <laughs> Nia, you good? I know you have dead hard. Maybe you don't have dead hard. <laughs> Maybe this is a good idea to get at least one of them out before the gates are powered. Oh wait, you're not dead on hook. Oh my god. Wait. Something's not right with my hook counter. There's only showing that there's three left and yet no one's dead yet. Okay, I got a pretty good no one escapes death location right there. Ooh, that was so close. Nice. Yep, she used her dead heart. I should have waited just a little bit longer. I have to say, did you hide in this little nook? Cause I... Um, okay then. She's inside one of the lockers. So all I have to do is like wait out this Dwight right here and then the Feng Min and just like I can get my blood one in play. I see that one survivor is already in the exit gates right there. Oh my god, I missed my blink just slightly so. I'll go ahead and hook the Dwight, because he's dead on hook, so... Dwight, where'd you go? Dwight? 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 Oh no, they got Dwight up. That is literally my worst fear happening. They're going to try to go for the Exegates. Oh my god, this might actually completely backfire on me. I might have to go for the Clauda instead. Oh, one of them already left. Hello there. Oh no. No. <laughs> I might actually backfire it. Those two are right there still. No. <laughs> I was so greedy trying to get a fucking Blood Warden play. Holy shit. Oh, that was still GG's. I did manage to get everyone on Death Hook though. I got so greedy. Alright everyone, we've come to the end of the video now. I would say overall we didn't get really any much value out of any of the perks this week, except Ace in the Hole and Streetwise, which is surprising actually considering my perk recommendations. 
Anyways, with that being said, I'm Meatless3, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.